Although I was unfortunate to get motor neuron disease, I have been very fortunate in almost everything else. The trademark electronically produced voice that helped turn one of Britain's greatest living scientists into a celebrity. Stephen Hawking's brilliant brain seemed to allow him to find the right words for all occasions, often bringing laughter with them. I deal with tough mathematical questions every day, but please don't ask me to help with Brexit. <laughs> he was 21 and about to be married when he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Told he had just two years to live, Stephen Hawking defied medical expectations to go on and have his own children and grandchildren. In Cambridge today, admirers queued to thank him for making complex science accessible to the masses. While colleagues remembered a friend who'd refused to give in. Stephen just transcended all physical disabilities. He acted as if nothing had happened to him. And I remember once we had a, an occasion in the college where dancing was taking place and he managed to get his wheelchair to do a waltz. Professor Hawkins last visited his rooms here at Gonville and Keyes College last July, but his name remains above the door. This was, after all, his academic home for more than 50 years. And this the room that generations of maths and physics students came to for their tutorials. It's also where he wrote his best-selling Brief History of Time, which helped to define our understanding of black holes and the origins of the cosmos. I think a uh, comparison with Einstein seems very apt. Um, for instance, with Einstein, we're, for his theories, we're um, actually verifying some of his theories 100 years after he made them. And I think it's going to be the same with Stephen Hawking. He loved to be the centre of attention, happy to use his disability for comic effect. What noise the ducks make? I'm late for my lecture on the origins of the universe. One of numerous television appearances, most famously on The Simpsons. Your theory of a donut-shaped universe. This intriguing Homer. His extraordinary life was made into a film starring Eddie Redmayne, a raw look at his physical and emotional struggle. But Stephen Hawking counselled, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. I have been enormously privileged through my work to be able to contribute to our understanding of the universe. But it would be an empty universe indeed if it were not for the people I love and who love me.